so I came up about four years ago and it's been like a love affair ever since. It's, it's, it's so nice to know the, the community and it, it, it's so community driven. Um, and since I retired about 2020, um, I, you know, I, need, I, I live on my own, so I need places to go and come in here and meeting the other people that come in and, and become so friendly with them. It's ideal. And Kath is a very special lady. I used to be a driving instructor before I had the cafe. And the test centre is over there. And I was coming home one night with my son in the car and I was in a car crash. It wasn't a bad crash, it was just sort of uh, superficial. But going through the courts and everything else, two years later I was awarded nearly £7,000. And my husband asked me, well, I asked him what I was going to do with the money. And he said, well, why don't you open a cap? I was like, I'll end up poisoning everybody. People walk past and that, and you probably see when people walk past, they look in and they wave, and we wave back, and we're always friendly with them when they come in, and we all say goodbye and thank you when they leave, and they tell them, to, uh, well, have a good day, or look after yourself and stuff like that. So we get a lot of respect back because we give a lot of respect to There's a lot of nice people in town, lot that need houses, so what you do, you can't, uh, you can't put everybody in the same type of area. And it's a shame for like people in Druidty because they have to move off the area. A lot of them like the area. So. Like I've known the same people who've moved off and come back again. So a lot of them are nice people, they're friendly, uh, they're just caring people. I've been here nearly eight years, seven and a half, eight years, and they've never repainted it. And a lot of the time, I mean, we did have a chap that lived down the bottom last year. If you have a look on Facebook and stuff like that, he weeded the whole of the front and cleaned up the whole of the front, and it looked amazing. But yeah, we, we do get people fly tipping on the blocks and all sorts of stuff like that, which the council are too bothered about. Been a, a lot of changes years ago when they had the Maypole and the Gladiator. It was a rough area. There's a lot of people on the dole, unfortunately. Um, yeah, we had a spat of burglaries and cars that was um, dual riders. A lot of fights, a couple of stabbings, it was drug use. Now all them pubs are gone. It's not so bad now. It might go down now because of governments, unfortunately. We had a better governments, better MPs who want to fight for the people and not just line their own pockets and have these houses and go abroad and they tell you one rule and they go and do another rule. Do you know what I mean? Everyone needs a bit of um, love. And there's enough to go around, believe it or not, but they just don't know what love is, unfortunately. As an opinion, you know. Nobody should be, no should be, nobody should be depressed and lonely and struggling in this 21st century. 